Today guys we're going to be working on my 2002 Audi A6 Quattro B5 turbo and we're going to be debadging the back. So it's going to be the first time for both of us so when you feel come along, keep watching, see how you do it. Cleaning in wipes of some sort, either sugar soaps or some sort of cleaning product. A microfiber cloth, that's what I'd recommend because it will just stop things from getting scratched but it will also clean a lot easier and a lot better than other cleaning gloves. A hair dryer of some sort or a, a, a heat gun that you can buy in any DIY store just so that we can heat it up just to get the adhesive nice and warm so it loosens it up a little bit and a small strand of fishing wire just so that we can use it just to get behind and heat it up just nice and easy and uh, really so that we can start getting to work. To start with, get a cleaning cloth of some sort, we're going to use sugar soap wipes. These are pretty good for getting in and around dirty areas. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start by cleaning all around the first badge that we're going to be which is the A6 badge. Just clean it around just to make sure that the clean surface area is always easier to work with and it stops any of the dirt scratching when you start rubbing and heating up and stuff. So just clean around right there. After you finish cleaning it with the sugar soap wipe or whatever cleaning solution you use, get a microfiber cloth and just dry around the area that you've been cleaning. This will pick up any uh, dust particles or dirt. It's really like sticky in that sense, cloths, and this will really help to clean up around the area. And once you've done that, we'll move on to getting the hair dryer, heating it all off, loosening all the adhesive around it, enabling it to be easy to take off. Right, next you want to use a hair dryer or a heat gun of some sort to heat up the batch that will loosen up the adhesive on the other side. And when that's easy, you should be able to just pop the badge off and just start to be completely different. So what I'll do is I'll start heating it all up now and we'll see how it goes. Once I've heated it all up and got it nice and hot, which I can actually see it's already moving, I'm going to get the fishing wire, just have to grab my fingers nice and tight. And then what I'm going to do is just start to put in and start to pull it through. It should begin to remove the badge like that. I can actually see that that's what's working. Like that. As you can see, it still leaves some of the adhesive on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next stage, and that is trying to get that adhesive on. Now got the badges off and it's left a slight trail of adhesive still on there. Now, this isn't too bad, fortunately, because some cars you can be left with loads into the right mess to try and get off, but this isn't too bad. So there's two ways to try and get into the adhesive off. You can, if you've got a hairdryer, you can go over with the heat on the hairdryer and you can try and rub, rub it off. But if you're going to use a heat gun, just be careful because you can cause the paint to bubble or blemish. 
The way I'm going to do it, the second way, is by getting some either some adhesive cleaner or the white, the same sugar wipes. What I'm going to do, just go over it in a nice circular motion with a little bit of pressure. And by adding it on, I'm hoping, yeah, I can see that it's already trying to, it's already taking some of it off. Just by adding a little bit more pressure every time, I'm adding, it's taking a little bit more off, and then I can get the fibre cloth that I've got and go back over it again, and that'll take a little bit more off. So we'll, I'll carry on doing this, and then we'll see what it looks like. When it's... This isn't too bad, but you can sometimes get left a shadow because the original paint is faded. The paint is faded, and underneath where it's been kept nice and protected, it's actually slightly brighter, or you know, shows out a little bit. This isn't too bad, um, so I won't need to do any polish or anything. But it is, you can actually get some polish and just. Slightly go in there with some polish and it should buffer it nice and smooth, clean it right out. What I'm going to do is I've done this way on the number six, I've done it with a cleaning cloth and a fiber cloth just to keep going and keep going and keep going. It took about 10 minutes and it's completely gone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the A, I'm going to put some heat onto it and just see if it makes it a little bit easier. That way I'm showing you both ways and you'll be able to make your mind up which way you prefer. Now successfully finished the one side, it's pretty impossible to see where it originally was. In fact, there is a slight mark which some tea cut, I'm going to get some tea cut on it and I'm going to polish it off. I won't be doing that now, I'll do the whole car another time. But as you can see, that is now looking really good. And now we're both now going to move over. Hayley's now going to do the other side. She'll crack on and I'm going to see what it looks like on the other side to do the 1.18. Right, we're going to move over to the next side now and I'm going to try and replicate what Ben's done. So as you can see we're pretty much finished now. Uh, Hayley's just finishing off the last little bit of shadowing. What's that done? We can then just do a final clean over the back just to make sure there's any bits we might have missed. We can just go over once again and then we'll see how it looks.
you guys go, finally finished the deal, I think. It's been, I've, I've never done it before. It's the first time for me, first time for you. So I'm really impressed with it, it turned out really well. So that's the dirt to that. Um, that is a massive spider. What's that? That is huge. Yeah, yeah, don't look at it, don't look at it. I'm just gonna go and have a wee in a bit. Right, so there we guys go. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, yeah. that'd be awesome. And then just keep in touch for more videos. There will be more videos coming because there's a load more things I'm gonna do to the Audi. So oh, yeah. there we go, that's a wrap up there.